Hello, this is Alucard from State 136. This is a small video demonstrating what I call the slingshot. What this does is allow you to move your troops or your entire alliance to one point on the map very quickly with a single rally. You can place a castle and shield it and bring many troops to one location and they won't be able to do anything about it. In order to do this, we're going to have to start a rally. Generally, the rally boss I choose is a level 1. This indicates that this is going to be an attack on a point. You could choose a level 2 or 3. Being as a low level, most people in the Alliance will understand what this is. Um, typically, I use a level 1 for an attack and a level 2 or 3 for a return. Uh, you don't need many to rally. You can take your entire 100 people in your Alliance with just one rally if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do a search. I have a level 1 here. This is going to bring all the troops to my base location. So I would essentially land to the target, shield if I need to, if it's hostile. And I would go ahead and do 30 minutes. This will give plenty of time to rally this. Now before I say this, you're going to have um, some interesting things happen. In your alliance tech, you have what's called an auto rally. And this is one of the first skills you get. This auto rally automatically joins offline members to your rally and within 60 seconds one minute it will do this on you so if you if you the idea is here that you do not want your rally to complete you want your rally to fail you do not want it to go off if you have your rally go off which means send to the monster they will no longer be able to control their members their marching armies so I'm going to go ahead and search here. Let's see if anyone's going to actually join this uh, rally. I'm going to do 30 minutes. Now, like I was talking about here, you hit this eyeball. It brings out the count. So you have 30 minutes here. But within one minute, it will auto-populate. So what you want to do is actually remove the people joining the rally. Once you do this for the first minute, it will not auto-populate again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick one. And I have um, one coming in here. He's he's now going to this rally point. Lewis. And they are very far away. Now there's two more here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guys here. Those were the auto-joins. Okay, so we just hit that marker where they joined in. So he now he's about to be rallied. So as soon as he gets there, boom, I eject him. Now he's at my base. If I go back here to my base, he is there. And now he could actually garrison my base if he wanted to and prep for a next attack. And if I wanted to rally from my base, he would be able to. Um... Anyone who wants to come, you know, this guy's this guy's coming in here now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and release Lewis. I'll just keep doing this until I get everyone where they need to be. I don't want to pull everyone in the alliance over here for like a 10-minute walk. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. But that's that's how you execute this. This is also useful if you wanted to have someone that's a far ma march away. Say if you're trying to rally for the uh, general, for the um, the alliance um, exercises, and you're trying to attack the general rally, you can kick them from your alliance, from your, not your alliance, but kick them from the rally um, so other members can join your rally to attack. So that's how it's done.